what is going on? Thank you all so much for joining us once again. And today we got something special for you. So you know how usually we talk about all the different side hustles, the data entry, babysitting, Upwork, freelance, I mean all of these different things. Well today, we are gonna give you a first hand look on what it's like to actually be these side hustles. And we're gonna be doing that through my favorite ride sharing app, DoorDash. It's probably where all my money goes, but you know, that's a whole different story. Anyways, you know what, hey, how about we go and get signed up and how about we get started? Let's do it. Let's see if we can get some rides. Let's, hey, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda excited. Hit dash now, let's just, it's two o'clock right now, we're gonna dash until, let's say 3.30, so we got an hour and a half. So, the cool thing with DoorDash, it tells you where like the different hotspots are. So whenever you open the app, you have to click a specific area that you wanna DoorDash in. But they only allow a certain amount of DoorDashers per zone. And so once you click on the city that you wanna DoorDash in, from there, they'll show you the different hotspots. And uh, we got one right now, so we're gonna drive to the hot spot and see if we can find something. So, let's get this thing started! All right, so the essentials are pretty basic. I mean, you need a phone, of course, you need the app, um, and also, you need some gas. You should have a good amount of gas, because you're gonna be driving a lot. So charge phone, the app, and some gas. And booyah, oh, my fingers are there the whole time. Oh, and one last thing make sure that you have a phone charger so your phone stays charged you know what i'm saying didn't think you know what i'm sorry let's go so we have been waiting for about 12 minutes right now we don't have any orders um but again these kind of days happen when it's slower like this, which is unfortunate, but you know, not everybody always ordering food. Also, one thing I realized is that it's always smart to be in a place where there's a lot of restaurants. Like for instance, you're not gonna get a lot of orders if you're in, let's say a residential area because there's not a lot of restaurants in the vicinity. So just make sure that you always try to stay around restaurants um, and then when there's a number of them, like I always like to stay around like Thai restaurants, anything that's other than fast food. Unfortunately, we ain't getting orders right now, so I am going to any and every place that there will possibly be an order. So this is something else I'll do. Um, when it's slow like this, like real slow, I'll just go and do other things I gotta do. Like right now, I'm filling up this jug of water, um, but it happens to be in a hot zone, so I'll go fill it up, I'll leave the app running. You know, if I get an order, cool, if I don't, keep going about my day um, but then again I'll just hang out in the hot zone as long as I can and see what I can find let's see if we can get an order it's been 20 minutes we still haven't got an order all right we'll see you when I get order all right y'all right before I was about to doze off we finally got an order and not only did we get an order but we got a $26 order um, so it'll pull up Google Maps and it'll take you directly to the restaurant It'll tell you everything, so boom, right here. If you scroll up, you got hand the ding tea. It tells you the address, the pickup instructions, all that stuff. Boom, right there. Let's get to it. So they also have a time that they prefer pick up by 240. So I'm supposed to be getting there by 238. $26 for one order, come on, man. Ain't nobody, what? So we're heading to the restaurant. One thing I like to do a lot, just because um, parking is usually kind of tough in some of these places, I personally like to throw my hazards on and I'll park somewhere that's safe in front of the restaurant. Um, and from there, I'll just jump in. And a lot of times, these, um, like the people will be cool, like parking attendants, restaurant owners, because they understand DoorDash is in and out. So they, the, a lot of times, they're completely cool with you just coming in, getting your stuff. All right, but we just got to the restaurant. So once you get there, you wanna scroll up on here, boom, exit that and arrive that store, click that. Booyah! So once you click that, it'll tell you the order. So boom, we got strawberry slush, we got a monster boba latte, boom, all drinks. So boom, once we get that, we wanna go inside, pick it up, double check that receipt to make sure we got it. You know what, let's just do it. Okay, so, ding ding. Okay. 
thing. As you all can see, we have a lot of drinks. We got the straws. I double checked to make sure everything is in there. All right, so we have picked up officially and now we want to confirm the order. So boom, we got that everything. So we want to click continue, confirm order was picked up, booyah. So now after we do that, it'll tell you the time delivered by, delivered by 334, $26. The directions say that we're supposed to get there by 303. So we are way ahead of schedule. But you know what? We ain't taking no risk, man. Let's get going. All right, so um, we just got here. This is where we're at, Bethel Baptist Church. And let's see what it says. So it says, hand it to the recipient. So hand it to me, it's a church. They'll tell you details about what to do with it. And this one's saying hand it to them. So yeah, they'll have different options. Some will be hand to recipient. And a lot of times it'll say leave at door, which is for me the best one because you don't have to talk to people and you can just drop the food off and get going. So after you complete the order, after you complete the order, you go down here, complete delivery. Boom, complete delivery, confirm, confirmed. And once you confirm the best part, oh, there go that payout. See, it was $26 a tip. Oh, the see, even more money than we originally thought. So all that time, all that time I spent sweating, hot, burning up, waiting, all came out to $33 for basically an hour. Come on now, one ride, a lot of sitting around. I could listen to a book. I could have did a bunch of different things. At the end of the day, we made $33 for one job in one hour. That's pretty good. So we got another order for Pokey, et cetera, ETC. Pickup is at 337 and we are here at 337 on the dot. So once we get here, once again, click arrived at store. So this is the order that we got. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go in, let's go pick it up. Hello, I am picking up an order for Marisa. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got the orders. And once again, now that we've got it, let's confirm the pickup. Booyah. Sometimes with some of these orders, you'll need to confirm the last three characters of the order number, and that will be on the receipt. So this one right here, the last three is right there. FC5, confirm pickup, and Four minutes, Derek, right down the street for seven dollars, man. I'm doing. <laughs> Come on, man. We, you know, we good with that. Let's get it. So these are my favorite type of orders to deliver because it's leave at the door. So oil right here, boom. Leave at the door. Then they'll usually leave instructions, but boom, it's the house with the blue door, boom. So now, with that being said, let's drop this food off. And also, whenever you leave at the door, you want to make sure you take a picture. Now you got the picture. Now they know the food's been delivered. Complete the delivery. Oh yeah. Just like that, done. Boom. So all in all, in review, so we started at 2.05 and right now the time is 3.50. So in a little over, what about it, almost two hours, we made $41. We had the $33 order and the $8 order. Which sounds kind of crazy, just two orders and it was kind of slow, but it still equaled out to about $20 an hour. That's pretty nice, but we're gonna come back we're gonna do the night shift or the dinner shift, and we'll see if we can make some more money then. And uh, then we'll come back and review. By the way, a $26 tip, that's rare, man. $26 tip and a $4, I mean, that's pretty good for two orders. I mean, that is literally $30 in tips, boom, like that. Let's see what this dinner shift talking about. Y'all ready? Let's do it. All right, so we are doing the late shift right now. It is... Yeah, about seven, it's 714 right now. It, we're in a busy hot zone, it's red, which means it's booming. So it's 714 right now, we're gonna go into about 915, so about two more hours. Nighttime in Long Beach, let's hit that dash button. Let's see what happens, baby. All right, so it took almost, wow, almost 20 minutes to get our first order, but here we go, $7.25. Uh, Plant-based, 0.5 miles. Ooh, we could do that. That's a quick order too. So, uh, yeah, almost 15 minutes, but we got our first order. So let's uh, let's get going.
All right, so we got Haley's order and we are on the way. So I don't know what's going on, but it was, I mean, this might've been one of the slowest nights I've ever had doing DoorDash. Um, I got an $8 order. I did another order for $3.50. So that means I made around $12 in two hours. That's insane. $12 in two hours? So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. There have been times where I made like $100 in four hours. There have been times where I made almost $100 in two hours. I wasn't even a tenth of the way there. I mean, I was barely a tenth of the way. I mean, this is crazy. Some nights are slow. Like this is one of the slowest nights I've ever had doing DoorDash. Honestly, the whole day has been kind of slow. Um, and you get days like this, which is the unfortunate thing because I've, I mean, I've half a tank of gas I've used to make what, $60 in a day? I don't know if that's worth it. But then there have been other days where I've made over $250 in a day. So it just, you know, you gotta be smart and selective with your rides. So there you all have it, a first-hand look on what it's like to be a DoorDash driver. Um, all in all, when I say that it's worth it, um, it's tough. Uh, because as you all can see, I, I sat around a lot um, I didn't get a whole bunch of orders. I got a good amount and I made some money, but then you have to take into account like the type of car you got, the amount, um, I mean, how much you spend on gas. Like there's other variables that go into it. And also, but I will say, I was driving at pretty wonky times. I think the best times to drive are during peak hours when people are ordering the most food, like during lunch hours or during dinner time. Um, uh, and here is a firsthand look on what I earned in all the time that I was driving. But you know what? We can sit here and talk about it all day. Uh, I would say get out and do it yourself. See how it is in your area. See how you feel about it. But I do think that it is, it is, um, it's a cool way to like, you can listen to podcasts and everything. You can make a little money on the side. Um, and the best part about it is you can do it whenever you want to. So uh, with all that being said, man, y'all go ahead and get out there, do a little DoorDash, sign up for it. See how you like it. Might be good, might. Me personally, I don't think it's anything that is more than just a side hustle. Like if you're trying to make a full-time living off of this, I don't think this is the best idea. But it is cool to have a little side hustle. See how you like it and uh, let us know what you think down below. How has your experience been as a DoorDash driver? But until next time, I'm Landon and I'm out.